Hello, everyone. What's up, Facebook? Come on in. Come on in. I'm going to wait for Facebook to build me an audience. I hope everybody can hear me clearly. Just come on in. Eyes have not seen nor ears have heard uh, what God wants to do in you and through you. The one that's watching this video on tonight, listen. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. God is just up to some great things. And while being, being up to some great things, it's going to come with some attacks. It's going to come with some wanting to give up. It's going to come with some anger, some frustration, some feeling overwhelmed. But I'm excited for the word of God that is coming on tonight. We are on night four. Night four of our 17 night social media revival. Every minister that has came forth has blessed us with an awesome word. I'm telling you, and I truly believe that what you're needing clearance and clarity for, on tonight you're about to get it. The prophet is the woman of God that is coming on on tonight. If I can get you to come on in, come on in and tag 17 people very quickly. The prophet is that is coming on on tonight. When I tell you she come out the gate swinging, I love her testimony. I love what she stand for. I love her spirit every since I got in contact with her. I'm telling you, I'm a fan of her. And I just love the way she go to war with the devil. I love the way she don't back down. She war for her family. She war for people she love. She war for the body of Christ. So the prophetess that is coming on on tonight, I'm excited. So I need everybody to begin to tag and share. The number is 17. We are on night four of our 17 night social media revival. And the theme is guilty as charged. Uh, Prophetess Kim came on the first night and said, I am guilty as charged. I'm guilty. We all are guilty of loving people a little too long. We are guilty. Oh, Jesus. I don't even want to go there, baby. She went in. Uh, and she also gave us some rebukes. You understand? I talked about guilty as charged, meaning basically I come from a background that is messed up. But God will turn a mess into a message and God will, he will blind your enemies. They'll be looking down on you. Watch this and, and, um, from one point of view and don't even understand that God is preparing a table in the presence of them. Uh, listen, I'm telling you, and, and every night it's been another heavy hitter. So tonight, just like I said, people of God, we are on night four of our 17 night social media revival. Let me give some shout outs to some obedient people. Right now, you should be tagging and sharing like crazy. First of all, let me say thank you. Thank you because you could have been anywhere right now. Some of you are watching this live as you prepare to get the club. Some of you are watching this live as you prepare to go on, on a date. Some of you just turned off lifetime to jump on. May God hit the, hit, oh Jesus, may he hit your house with a tornado of blessings just for tagging and sharing. That's the quickest seed you can put in the ground. Thank you, Pretty Diamond, for tagging and sharing. Come on, I need you to put this inside the group, one of you guys. One of the uh, people from WAC, please put this inside the group. I see my bae, Shanita, is on. Another tagger and sharer. I'm sure Arthur Janae Thomas is going to jump on. Listen, oh, Jesus. When I tell y'all, I'm telling y'all, the enemy is busy, but God is even busier. The enemy is busy, but God is even busier. The enemy is busy, but God is even busier. Can I prophesy that over you very quickly before I bring on the prophetess of the night that I recognize that the devil is busy. But my God, the great I am, King of kings, Lord of lords, the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, he's even busier. And the enemy is asleep on what God is about to do next. So do me a favor, people of God. Come on for about two more minutes. Y'all already know that I cannot bring the woman of God on until I feel like everybody is on who's supposed to be on. So come on, I need you to tag and share like crazy. I need some people on here who's going to help me bombard heaven on tonight. The Bible says that where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. The only way I can come in agreement with what you're needing God to do, watch this people of God. And I don't know you, you, you personally. I can't hold your hand and pray. I can't hold your hand and war, it, it, war with you as if we can do this thing spiritually. So if the prophetess on tonight says something you agree with, baby, drop it in the comment. 
I want you to comment so much tonight, Jesus Christ. It scares the enemy. I want you to tag and share so much tonight. You let the devil know you woke when he thought you were asleep. Come on, just two more minutes. Come on, I need y'all to push for just two more minutes. I need y'all to push for just two more minutes. Come on. There's a shaking going on. There's a pressing going on. Come on, I don't know who this is. Watch this. I, 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 oh, Jesus. I just know that God is about to do something. Woman of God, if you're on, if you can send me a request to come on. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. There's a pressing. There's a shaking and a pressing. Come on, that is taking place on tonight. I don't know who it's for, but baby, God is up to something amazing on tonight. Watch this, and you're about to be part of it. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm only, I love that song that say, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, please, God, don't do it without me. God, whatever you're doing in this season, don't leave me behind. God, whatever plans you have, whatever, God, you got going on, whatever you do, Lord, please, 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 please don't leave me behind. And he will not. And he won't. I don't care what it looked like, baby. He won't. He will not forget you. He will not forsake you. God got you. I don't know who need to hear that. Come on. Drop that in the comments very quickly. God got me. I know it may look like he done forgot me. I know it may look like he done skipped over my house. But baby, he got his hand on me. That's why I got to praise him in the middle of chaos. He got his hand on me. That's why I got to cry out to him without throwing in the towel. Baby, he got his hand on me. Come on. Put them hand emotions up so you can let the devil know. Oh, Jesus. So long, bye-bye. So long, bye-bye. The prophets tonight, the woman of God, who God will be using tonight, I just got a feeling, listen, I got a feeling that as after the prophetess speak on tonight, we're going to realize that everything is all right. Everything going to be all right. After I don't know who I need to say that to, and I'm going to jump, oh Jesus, I'm going to jump off because I feel God. I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight. But after this, the Holy Spirit said everything going to be all right. I don't care how they look at you. I don't care what it seems like after this. Baby, everything going to be all right. Let me introduce the prophetess of tonight. Woman of God, I'm going to back up yes. so God can have his way in you because I want to tag and share. Also, you may take over. Jesus Great. Christ. Peace. Thank you, um, um, evangelist, doctor, prophetess uh, McFadden for this demonstration platform. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for tonight, God. We thank you, God, just for being who you are. Now on tonight, God, allow Shaniqua to decrease so yes. that you may increase, Father God, so that your people may get the word that they need in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let them judge the messenger, God, but yeah. let them just hear the words that are coming out of my mouth on tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. And as you do it, as your people get the revelation, the breakthrough, God, that they need, we say Thank you in Jesus' name. And as I was in prayer, the Lord took me to Daniel, Daniel chapter 3. And it's the story about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yes. Yes, so put on my mind, see, eat on my mind, so hold my say, uh, and he says on tonight in the name of Jesus uh, that so many of you have been cast away uh, into the fiery furnace in the name of Jesus uh, because you didn't bow to Baal, uh, because you did not, uh, you did not bow to to man, and, and God is saying on tonight uh, the same grace that He gave Shadrach, uh, Meshach, uh, and Abednego. Uh, it's the same grace yes. uh, that he's given you on tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, and he is saying on tonight uh, that yes, you may be guilty. Uh, yes, you may be guilty as uh, charged. Uh, but the same grace uh, when they cast you away, uh, when they threw you away, uh, he is saying on tonight uh, that you may go into the fire, but it won't touch you. Uh, now we know the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego uh, and King Nebuchadnezzar. He, he created this gorgeous image uh, and he got upset when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, they're not going to worship this God. They will not bow to this statue yes. that, that King Nebuchadnezzar
uh, that he made, that he created. So the king got word of what Shadrach, Meshach, and the Abednego said. So the king ordered his guards uh, to go bind up Shadrach, Meshach, uh, and Abednego. And the yes. king brought them, uh, the, the guards brought them before the king. Uh, and the king said to them, I heard that you are not going to bow. You will not bow to no other God. So yes. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, we are not going to be careful of our word. And I'm paraphrasing. We are not going to be careful of our word that we said. No, I am not going to bow yes. to your golden image. I will not bow to it. So the king became very angry. He became so angry. He ordered his guards to bind them up in the name of Jesus and chains. He said, take them to the fiery furnace. And his anger and his rage because yes. they wouldn't bow to him. See, the yeah. king, they were found guilty before the king. How many of you have been found guilty before the king because you won't do something? that they yes. want you to do and because you will not bow because you will not get in because you stand firm on what you believe they, they order they order the enemy to come after you they send out word curses they begin to speak negatively about you they begin to drag your name through the mud so what king nebuchadnezzar told the gods to do he said turn this fire up seven times stronger. That's how angry Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego made the king. So what the king bind, bind them up and place them into the fiery furnace in the name of Jesus. Ransi, eat up my bud, so good up my bud, say, Harris, I hear the Lord say, on tonight, run, sick your bud. So he said, run for your life. You are currently in a situation right now. And I just heard the word, run for your life. Shut up, get up, and so Yes, get up, and so And he is saying on tonight that yes, they may have tossed you in the fiery furnace. But the same grace, the same grace, get up, and so on my man say, hey, run, say, eat up, my man say, track three, good. I hear the spirit of the Lord say for you. He is saying on tonight that the aroma, he, he's wanting to change your scent. He is wanting to change your aroma. So he is saying on tonight that there are going to be a lot of drastic changes around you. Changes around you are going to take place. 30 days in the name of Jesus. He is saying changes around you are going to take place because because in the name of Jesus, because you have been in a sad nation place, a sad needed place. So you seem like you, every time you take one foot forward, it's like you take 10 steps back. But the Lord is saying it is not because of your doing. He is saying it is because it's the surroundings and, and the yeah. blessing that he has for you. Everyone cannot get a piece of the pie. Yeah. So the spirit of the living God. And God is also saying, he is saying on tonight, I need for trap queen to trust me. Trust me. Jesus. Trust me. Trust me. And I'm going to order my mind say, so as the God delivered them into the fiery furnace, what they did was they turned the fire up seven times higher. And I'm going to and as they turned the fire up, they sat back and they watched. But before that, the enemies that the gods that deliver Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bender go to the fire, they burnt. They got burnt alive by the fire. Yes. So God is saying on tonight, also your enemies may have cast you away. Come on. Also you may be guilty. Yet. So go by my say, before the man, before the eyes of man, God is saying on tonight, what they set out for you is going to reverse on them. So although they set the traps for you to die, although they set the traps for you to get burned up in the fiery furnace, God is saying on tonight that the enemy that you see today, you will no longer see. 
Uh, so yes. God went up by the fiery furnace. Uh, what they did was they got burnt alive in their clothes. Uh, now, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was bound up into the fiery furnace, they still had on their jackets, their hats, their pants. Yes. They were fully clothed. Uh, now, this fiery furnace was turned up seven times stronger. So as they're in the fiery furnace, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and their crazy self, uh, they didn't care. They got on their knees. Come on. And they cried and said, God, you are the same God yes, that you delivered are. Daniel from the lion's den. Ooh. You are the same God that departed the Red Sea. You Ooh. are the same God that turned water into wine. Yeah, Lord. You're saying on tonight, take up my soul. Yet I'm a man, see, a man, so Lakeisha culture. I hear the Lord saying, Ooh. He is saying the same way you push others. It's time yes. for you to push yourself. Right on my mind, say, hey, on my mind, say, hey, yeah. He is saying, push yourself. Let's your couch or crouch. Push yourself. Yes. You are always pushing somebody else. It's time for you to focus on you, says the spirit Jesus. of the living God in the name of Jesus. And so as they were in the fiery furnace, they were on their knees praying. So Jesus. King Nebuchadnezzar, wow. he sat back from his throne and watched from afar. And he said, Work there three men that was bound up in the fiery furnace of the God says, yes, there were three. King Nebuchadnezzar said, well, I see four. Uh -huh. And this fourth man is shaped in the image of God, the son of God. Kathleen Brett. Kathleen Brett. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, Wait, that, that what you are looking for, mm. it's like your, your house, honey. It is a particular house that you want. Ooh. You have a particular design. You have a, you just have it set in your mind what you want. But I hear the spirit of the Lord says, wait. He says by April 1st. Jesus. April 1st. Hey, get up a bun, say. Ooh, April 1st says mama, mama, the spirit mama. of the living God. So King Nebuchadnezzar said, isn't there a fourth man? That there is a fourth man that's shaped like the son of God. In this case, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they're not even burnt. They're not even touched. They came out, not, not touched. They didn't came out smelling like smoke. Now, we all know that clothes burn once fire touches. But because of their faith, that go by so, because they trust and believe in God, because they did not bow to Baal, they did not serve no other God. The Lord is a jealous God, and I want nothing before me. So what he did was, in the name of Jesus, what he did was, he wanted to question Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo about their God. He is saying, oh, tonight, that your enemies, that has cast you away. And Brady Diamond, I hear the Lord say, when you want to night you are not your past you no longer live there you no longer live there you no longer live there he says stop beating yourself up in the mighty name of jesus don't you feel guilty he says you are forgiven see what it is is you hold on in a moment you hold on to stuff that you should wow. not hold on no more now, and I see you way down in the spirit. You are tired. You are busted and disgusted. Oh, but you put on God. a smile on the outside. But on the inside, you are crying out for help. I come against the spirit of depression. I find it up right now in the oh, name of God. Jesus. I come against the thoughts of suicide. I find it up right now in the name of Jesus. Oh. For you shall live and not says the spirit of the Lord to the play out the works of the Lord. And the Lord is saying on tonight to pretty diamond, I have forgiven you.
Now it's oh, time for you to forgive yourself, pretty. Oh my God. So ask Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, oh my as God. they are before her, can Nebuchadnezzar, what happened is, they want to know who is your God. Can mm. Nebuchadnezzar say, if your God has the power to deliver you out of the fiery furnace, I want to serve this God that you serve. Yeah, God. And the Lord is saying on tonight, what? your grace, your testimony, your life uh, is going to Mamanta and Mamanta Oa. It's going to cause men uh, to fall to their knees. Uh, it's going to cause men uh, to call out on the name of yeah. Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And God is saying on tonight, He is saying, Wow. The fire is an indication. Wow. The fire is an indication wow. of wow. your innocence. Wow. The fire is an indication wow. that you are wow. forgiven. The fire is an indication wow. that he is with you. He is with you. He is with you. And evangelist McFadden, the Lord is saying, he is with you. I gave you the vision. I will make provision. I will send the sources. He said, don't you worry, because every need shall be met, says the spirit of the living God. For there is a great work for you to do. There is a great work. And he says, you stop worrying right now. Stop worrying right now. Come on, say, hey, I'm not too old. I'm not see ya. Stop worrying right now. Every teardrop. He says, let her know I see it. Every teardrop, you pull a case of soap and tears. But the Lord is saying on tonight, Evangelist McFadden, he is saying, the same word you give to millions of people. It's the same word you need to apply to your own life. It is the same word. He says in the name of Jesus, I didn't bring you this far to leave you. You will not go in the tower. I speak to your strength. I speak strength into you right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to your spirit man right now in the name of Jesus. I bring Every curse, every word curse, I command you to go back to the pits of hell. Burn to ashes in the name of Jesus, for she shall go further. She shall go further. She will not quit in the middle of her assignment, says the spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus, Tanisha Williams, I hear the spirit of the Lord. He is saying for you, as I called your name, I got an instant headache. I got an instant headache. And the Lord is saying on tonight, Tanisha Williams, he is saying on tonight, there's nothing wrong with you. You don't have vertical and none of that stuff. He says, but you are allowing things to worry you. And that's where the headache is coming from. But the Lord is saying on tonight for you, Tanisha Williams, he said, don't you no longer worry. It's such a heavy worrying spirit on this live on tonight. And I speak to everybody right now under the sound of my voice. And God is saying, the way he delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is the way he is going to deliver you. I don't care what the doctors say. God says, whose report will you believe? He said, I don't care what the statistics may say. He says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And he is saying on tonight, if you just keep him first, if you just keep him first, if you just allow him to be God in your life, you will see your enemies, the people that has 
has cast you away the people that has spoken word curses even though you may be guilty even though some of the things may be true but he is saying in his eyes because you have actual forgiveness you are forgiven in the name of jesus and he is saying on tonight to tanisha williams stop worrying stop worrying in the name of jesus tanya hills i hear the spirit of the lord saying for you he is showing me you and as he is showing me you he is showing me you outside of the four walls he's not showing me you inside the four walls so I'm talking like, God, what exactly does that mean? God is saying for you, your ministry is beyond the four walls. He Jesus. is saying tonight that many need to hear your story. They need to hear your testimony, but you're not going to find most of them behind the four walls. You're going to find them in the streets. You're going to find them in the gutter. You're going to find them where people left them for dead. Yeah. That's where you need to go. And he is saying on tonight, the same God that was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will be the same God that is with you, says the spirit of the living God. Cynthia Carter, I hear the spirit of the Lord saying for you, Cynthia Carter. He is saying for you, he is saying that everything will be caught up. Jesus. I don't know exactly what that means, but he is saying everything will be caught up. Every bill, you think you're behind time, but you are Jesus. really on time. You think you just everybody else is going before you, but you are really on time. And I hear the Lord so clear. He said, every need will be met. For you yeah. to evangelize, every need will be met in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Evangelist, the Lord is showing me a check. And this check is like locked away inside of a boat. And this check is it's like, it's due to you. It's owed to you. Jesus. And the Lord is saying, this check isn't through something natural. But what he is saying is, it's a spiritual check. Lord. He is saying, when you jump evangelist, that check which is locked up inside of that boat in the name of Jesus, it will be released. You don't have to worry. You will not have to worry. You won't have to worry. You won't have to worry, says God. You won't have to worry, says God. You won't have to worry. It's turning around. It's turning around. It's turning around. It's turning around right now. It's to the man say, but so uga man say, it is turning around. He is showing me it's turning. It's turning around in your favor. Every petition that you have before God is turning in your favor because of your heart. And because of your heart, he has chosen to favor you. But you just got to let go and let God you got to trust him. Just jump. Lose your mind and jump. Don't look at the shortage. Jump because there's a great assignment that you've got to do. But you are afraid to jump because you're looking at the shortage. But God said, I did not give you that vision for you to let it die away. I did not give you that vision for somebody else to pick it up and carry on the torch. He said, I give it to you. I gave it to you. I gave it to you. And I need everybody under the sound of my voice. In the chat, the fire is an indication of my release date. The fire is an indication of my release date. Of my release date. Of my release date. I am no longer a prisoner. I am no longer you can't hold my past against me. I still struggle. We all struggle. Yeah. I got issues. But the Lord knows about my issues. And the Lord is saying on tonight, don't you allow your issues.
use your past to stop you from worshiping me. He says, because oh, I Jesus. need you right where you are, right where you are. The doctor may say one thing. It's somebody in here. I see the number 17. It's like you have a doctor's appointment coming up. But this doctor's appointment is this doctor's appointment, it's more like you're being checked out because the you got a scare. But I hear the Lord saying on tonight that if you would just yell out in the atmosphere right where you are. If you would just yell out, by his stripes, I am healed. If you would just yell out, then no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. If you would just yell out, sickness and health will not take over my body. Decree and speak it over your life. Don't you know you have the authority Jeez. to speak that over your life? In the name of Jesus, I just saw Frankie Joe said, I needed this. And Frankie Joe, I heard the Lord said, as you said that, the Lord says, tell Frankie Joe, I need to hear, I need to hear more. Yeah. I need to yes. hear your voice more. I need to hear your voice more. I need you to get in a place of consecration because there are some things that the Lord want to download into you for your family. It's like a, it's like a curse that follows your family. Jesus. And this curse that follows your family is trying to latch itself onto you. And when I say the curse, it's like lack, poverty, uh, you start something and never finish. You're, in the name of Jesus, I, April, you said your appointment is April 17th. The Lord says, speak it over your body. Jesus. Speak it over your body. God is a man that he cannot lie. Neither the son of man that he shall repent. If he said it, then it is so. Speak over your body. You walk inside that doctor's office with faith on April 17th. You walk into it with faith. Frankie Joe. And the Lord is saying, get in a place of consecration. He says, go on a seven-day fast. Go on a seven-day fast away from social media. Uh, uh, away, only do what you need to do. All the extra stuff, he says, pause. Mm. Pause. Because I see you running from here to here, day to there. Here to here, day to day. The, and not just physically, but mentally. Yeah, it's so do my body. See, your battles are mental. But God want me to let you know tonight that he is a mind regulator. And if you just trust him to do what only he can do in the name of Jesus, he will do it, says the spirit of the living God. I need everybody under the sound of my voice. Jesus. I need you to get a seat for either $21, 111 or 121 and why mm -hmm. there's so much ones because the lord is saying on tonight that you and him is going to become one it's like Jesus. you're going to have a, a, a spiritual encounter and it's like you're going to feel the presence of god just overtake you in the name of jesus i need for y'all to sow i need for y'all to sow 21 111 or 121 and this is for one you're on one accord you're getting on one accord it's just so many of you are you're just scattered all over the place Lord. but the seed will bring balance the seed of obedience because he don't need our money but it's the seed of obedience if you want to obey you must obey this you must obey so the seed of obedience the seven Five four two four six zero five eight zero. Everything is at the bottom of the screen. Screen, and what he is saying, he is bringing everything into into alignment. He is bringing everything together for you. Crystal yes, rose, God, everything please. is coming together for you. It's going to be on one accord. Eh? So, and that what you thought eh, was over, Crystal Rose. Eh? I hear the spirit of the Lord says that. What you thought was over, it's really just beginning. Yes, God. It's really just beginning. I see the Lord is showing me where he is like a lot of furniture moving around you. Furniture can represent furniture, or furniture can represent people. And so the Lord is saying that there is a lot of furniture, there's a lot of people moving around you. Mm. It's like it's, it's like it's, it's just a whole bunch of people moving around you, and the Lord is saying on tonight. Uh, that is finished. You are no longer there anymore. You have graduated. You have elevated. Even though it may mm. appear to you in your own lens, out of your own eyes, that you have not 
yet graduated, but the Lord is saying to Crystal Rose, mm. yes, you have graduated. He says, job well done yes. for the little, for the little that you have done. Job well done. I need for you to sow either 21, 111, or 121. And it's people on here that don't have it. If you are in position to sow for your brother or your sister, sow for them. Because what you make happen for others, God will make yes. happen for you. In the name of Jesus. And Patricia Young. Patricia Faith Walking Young. Your, your name, it, it, it got my attention. Patrice. Faith walking young, that your name got my attention. But I hear the Lord saying he had to shake some things up. I see you, and, and it's like you're on a, in an earthquake or some type of storm. And the Lord is saying he had to shake that stuff up. He had to do some things in the name of Jesus. And he had to shake it up to get your undivided attention. So he mm -hmm. says, count it not as a loss, but count it as joy, oh. says the spirit of the living God. And he says, no, it wasn't you. It was I, said the Lord, that had to do it because I needed your undivided attention. He says, and once you are to that point, strong, once you are strong enough in the name of Jesus, he says he's going to send you back to get them. I don't know what that means, but he is going to send you back to get them because the same way Jesus went back for the one, he says it's the same way he is raising up people in this hour that will go back for the one. Yes. They will not leave their brother or their sister at the wayside who will not give up on them. Yeah, they may be feeling down today. They may have a little attitude today. We mm -hmm. are entitled to and we are human mean. beings. If we would just learn how to oh, give God. people space, oh, if we would just learn how to understand, because we never know what's on a person's mind. And in this hour, he is saying we must monitor our words because one person is one word away from suicide. Wow. They're one negative word away from depression. They're one word away from giving up and throwing in the tower. And God is raising up people in this hour that will go back for the one. I'll leave the 99 just to go back for that one. And God is saying on tonight, the remnants, the rags, the, the ruins, the one people threw away are the ones that he is coming back. He is raising people up for to go back and get them. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word on tonight, God. Every word that's been spoken, God, we bind up backlash, retaliation, any witch, any ant, that yeah. the warlock that may be in the spiritual realm trying to snatch the word. We dismantle them by your fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I need for everybody to sow 21, 111, or 121. Get with somebody. He says, open your mouth in this season. Tell your sister, I don't have it. Would you please just, just give it to me? Mm. Go help your sister, your brother, says the spirit of the living God. A prophetess McFadden, thank you. I love you. Thank, I, thank I, you. I love you too. Can you tell them how they can reach you? Oh, social yes. media, everything. Yes. On social media, I'm just Shanique with Scott. My name, Shanique with Scott, on uh, on uh, Instagram and Facebook. I'm Shanique with Scott. Yes. Thank you so much, Prophetess. I'm gonna reach out to you after this. Yes. Listen, oh, that word, baby. You see my tear towel? Do you see my tear tissue? Do you listen? That woman called out some people's name, baby, and prophesied to them stuff I know they going through. That was God tonight. That was all of God, Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That was all of God tonight. Jesus Christ. Listen, the woman of God said, sow a seed of $21, $111, or $121. You can sow via Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Venmo. Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Venmo. Or you might say, Vances, I don't have none of those ways to give. But I have a car. Can you send me an invoice? Text the same number, 754-246-0580. Text that number, the word invoice, with your email and the amount you want me to request. The woman of God said $21, $111, or 
or $121, 754-246-0580. Some of y'all should be sowing into that atmosphere. That would, listen, God is lining up something, he's doing something. Prophetess Cox came on the first night. She did some rebuking. She said, I'm guilty of charge. We all guilty of loving somebody too long. We all guilty of loving somebody more than we love ourselves or we love God. Bishop came through last night and he swept the place with an awesome word of God. And Prophet Shanique was just, baby, it's like we going higher and higher and higher. I received every prophetic word that came to me because I know it was for me. I know it was for me. 754-246-0580. That's for Cash App. Chime. Zell, PayPal, Vimo. Put your phone, uh, uh, um, your phone alarms on 10 p.m. Eastern time every night. This was night four of our 17 night social media revival, baby. This I see Prophetess Cox is on that saying, "I'ma sew for you." <laughs> when I tell y'all that lady is so special, I'm telling you she's dear to my heart. Her and her husband. I'm telling y'all, trust God. Bust a move. Some of y'all got these taxes. Look, you should, you ain't got to sew for you, but you might need to sew for your husband. You might need to sew for your children. You might need to sew for your breakthrough. You might need to sew for your finances, your health. You might need to sew for your ovaries, trying to make a child. You might need to sew for your heart. You got heart problems. Sew for your pressure. Come on, I don't know who needs to get this. I'm saying trust God tonight, because baby, whenever y'all get me, he busts out crying on live. Baby, God is moving. That woman just came through and swept the place like this. Like that. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all see all the numbers starting to drop. Because <laughs> so many people are sewing. Trust God. Cash out, chime, sale, PayPal, Venmo. $21, she said. $121. Or $111. I'm saying trust God. I'm saying trust God. Follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFadden. Follow me on Instagram at evangelist.shakira. I only have one Instagram. Follow me on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. If somebody is messaging y'all saying, cash out for a blessing, inboxing you saying hello, hi there, send me this, send me that, it's not me. Click on the profile, look at the following. If it don't say half a million followers, it's not me. I only got one page. Please use wisdom. Listen, listen. Is your cash app under your name, Shakir McFan? Yes. But you have to put in the full phone number because they've made fake cash apps. So Dr. Shakira M has to pop up. When you put in 754-246-0580, Dr. Shakira M has to pop up. Thank you, Shanita. I love you so much. I love y'all so much, man. My followers be rocking with me. I'm telling you. Y'all just don't know I love y'all the life. Listen, April the 21st through the 23rd, I am officially, I am officially in uh, uh, South Carolina. I have two people on here, Lakeisha Internet. Could you guys drop that information? April the 21st through the 23rd, meet me in South Carolina. This event, the tickets are only $50 or $100 for VIP. It's going all the way down. I ain't even coming to play. Listen, uh, 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 we have uh, the Legacy Concert down here in Fort Lauderdale, March the 25th, if I'm not mistaken. I will be there with Shan Lamore. I will be there with Ja'Kalen Carr. I will be there with Cindy Trim. I am honored to be an ambassador for this event. Vanessa, are you still on? I, I will be down there with Prophetess uh, 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 Kim Cox soon. She putting something together. Um, that's uh, June. June, I am in Dallas, Texas. July, I am in Montgomery, Alabama. Listen, it's hard for me to remember that. But I'm saying, listen, it's going down. If you are in South Carolina, or you are in Charleston, North Carolina, or you are in South Carolina, I, very quickly, I want all my followers to drop 
South Carolina. Come on, Lakeisha. I need y'all responding to these people Texas. Drop your phone number when they make a comment so you can reach out to them. Capri, Culver, look, I want you to contact. Let me put that down there. Contact Lakeisha. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Because I'm going to respond. I want y'all to drop what city and state you in. Right now. Everybody drop what city and state. Somebody say, I'm trying to come. You better get there because I want to see you. I want to hug you. I want to tell you I love you and you are love. Come on. I want to see every city and state. Every city and state. Come on. Tymantha White. Come on. Every city and state. Somerville, South Carolina. Man, y'all better get there. Come on. Y'all better get there. Come on. Y'all better get there. Thank you, Queen, for sewing Shadrika. Come on, Trinette, I need you responding to these people's comments. Respond to the comments of the people who are near South Carolina. Come on, keep dropping your city and state back to back. Come on, I need you to pay attention, Prophetess Cox, to who's near you. Who's near you? Come on, I see Granada in the house. Come on. Come on, I need y'all to respond. Respond, respond, respond to them. Come on, I see New Orleans in the house. I just left down there supporting my sister Deliza and her book release. Come on, I see Birmingham, Alabama. Shamika, so blessed. I have to respond to you. Come on, I see Houston, Texas. That's where Arthur Tiffany is. Come on, I'll be down there her way. Come on, I need you to come in your city and state. Come on, come on. Oh, Tracy Perry. Come up and see me then. You come VIP. Somerville, South Carolina, they responded. North Carolina, come on, that's nearby too. I want to come to Dallas. Okay, hold on. Let me let me tag Sharonda in yours. This is who you uh, respond to in Dallas. I'm trying to respond to so many people, you guys. It's so many people. Tallahassee, come on, Las Vegas. I love y'all, man. Louisiana, I see Spiritsville. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it's going down. Colorado. I was down there with my husband. It was so cold. Come on, Dallas, Texas. It's in June. Dallas, Texas. It's in June. Y'all gonna see the flyers and everything up. I don't know when I'm in Memphis yet. She's planning. Houston, Texas. That's with Arthur Tiffany. Arthur Tiffany McIntosh. I gotta, I gotta let you know. I'll be connecting from Nigeria. Okay, King. I got followers all over, though. I got I have no transportation. I would pay someone to come get me. Oh, Tika, I love you. Where you at, Tika? Where you at, babe? Because we might got to arrange something. Okay, South Carolina. Okay, Sylvia. I want to see y'all. Fort Pierce. I want to see y'all. It's, it's, it's going down. It's definitely going down. Listen, I love you guys. God bless you guys. I'm definitely going to get with you soon. Remember, put your seed in the ground. The woman of God said $21, $111, $121. The number again is 754-246-0580. If you're doing cash app, please put in the full number to Dr. Shakira M pops up because there are fake cash apps. Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Demo are ways to give and you can get an invoice. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Good night. Tune in tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. We going even higher.